Good morning, guys. So, I look pretty gross right now. Um, so, I didn't vlog on, what's the day today? Is it Wednesday or, Tuesday? or Thursday? It's Wednesday, so I didn't vlog on Tuesday because I wasn't feeling very well and I just didn't feel like vlogging. Um, I do want to try and get around to editing my update video and Monday's vlog today. Um, but right now I have to leave because I have a doctor's appointment at 12 and it's almost half 11. It, take, it, it takes about 15 minutes or so to get there but if you get stuck at every set of traffic lights it can take longer so I just want to make sure I've got enough time. Um, I look, yeah, like I've just rolled out of bed because I pretty much have. Um, I haven't really been sleeping the best so... Hopefully when I get back I'll be able to have a nap or something. Um Yeah. I might change my jacket though instead of this white one. I don't know. I feel like it makes my hair look just puffy and gross. I think I might put on a black jacket to hide it a bit. Um but yeah. Good morning, I hope you guys are okay and let's go. Oh, I've got the worst pain in my stomach right now. I just want to say that I um, remembered my mask today. No. And then I, uh, oh, I changed my top. That's what I was going to say. Um, I was, because I was wearing something different before, and then I realized it's kind of cold outside, so. Does this happen to anyone else that their belt gets twisted? Um, and I'm just wearing this jumper, which I actually haven't worn in ages. It's like got holes in it, um, which. Considering it's cold outside, seems a bit of a silly thing to do, but hey ho, we're doing it. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm on my way to the doctor's now. I'll update after. Um, I might have to go to the chemist after the appointment because I need to get um, a prescription. I really do like this new doctor's a lot compared to my old one. It takes the same amount of time to get there, but yeah, I prefer the new one. So. I'm excited to see my doctor again. Um, she's honestly the best doctor I've ever had. Um, and I need her to send off a referral as well um, because the doctor at the hospital didn't give us, it's a long story, but he didn't give us the name of this pain specialist guy so my doctor's gonna refer me instead um, even though the hospital's referred me but it takes too long as, pri as a public patient so we're going private for this um, just to get my pain management under control like we only need him to, him or her to prescribe like you know pain treatment and then my GP can do it after that but my GP wants the input of a pain specialist so that's what we're gonna do today. So I just want to do a quick update um, I'm home now um, my appointment with my doctor went really really well I got referred to an amazing pain specialist so I did try and ring to get an appointment earlier but um, I couldn't then I had a bit of a run around because I had to go to Centrelink which is kind of like job center in the UK because they stopped my payments and I'm not allowed, I'm basically not getting any help anymore from the government, so I'm on my own, which was kind of a stressful day. Um, so I'm just gonna have to work really hard with my YouTube this month and try and upload as much as I can. Um, and as always guys, my merch is down below if you do wanna help me. Uh, so anyway, I don't wanna go on about it too much. It's not really any of you guys' business, so. Not, not, not in a bad way, I just mean that like, I don't want to feel like burden you or feel like you guys have to help me. Um, but yeah, that's basically what happened today. Um, and then I had my blood done and hopefully I'll get the results of that tomorrow and hopefully everything will come back fine. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty exhausted now. My pots has been all over the place today. My blood pressure is pretty low. Just everything's really ugh. Um, I really hope we can sort out this TPN and feeds. Um, because I'm pretty much feeding 24-7 and I'm still really tired and malnourished and yeah I I uh, went a long time without getting my period and then I got it for a bit and uh, now I've stopped getting it again so that's how I know that my body's kind of not sh I don't want to say like shutting down but you know shutting down some of the functions that it doesn't need to conserve energy and calories so Anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining. I'm just watching a film with my mom at the moment and I'm just laid down there with the blanket and stuff. So I'm gonna try to get some rest for a bit, but I hope you guys are okay and hopefully I'll get these vlogs edited tonight. That is the plan, hopefully. 
Hey guys, so I'm about to get round to editing, um, but I really wanted to just quickly show you this book that I've been reading. Um, now this is not a type of book that I would normally pick up or choose to read. Um, however, it caught my eye when I was in like a bookshop, like the proper bookshops, like WH Smith. Um, and things are always way, way, way more expensive in those kind of shops. Um, so I read the blurb and I kind of flicked through it when I was in that shop, but I didn't end up buying it. This was quite a few weeks ago. This was when I bought uh, Reasons to Stay Alive, which I've already talked about. But anyway, so I saw this book and I didn't end up getting it, but then I was in, was it Target or I think it was Target I was in. Um, actually, no, it wasn't. I think it was Kmart. Anyway, it was one of those shops. Um, and things are considerably cheaper in those shops. Um, so I saw this book in that shop, and I think it was like 10 or $15 cheaper. So I ended up getting it, and it's called Can You Die of a Broken Heart? Um, and a cardio, I think it's a cardiothoracic surgeon, actually. Uh, heart and lung surgeon Dr. Nikki Stamp, and she kind of talks about like the heart, the functions, and then can like any evidence to suggest that people do die of broken hearts and stuff like that you know when old people die within like a few days of each other or you lose you, like people lose like someone they were really close to and then they die not long after kind of like about that and it's actually so so interesting i'm only in like a few chapters in but I, I really really like it and it's an easy read and even if you're not familiar with any medical terms it easily explains it to you and i just thought i'd show you guys in case you might be interested um it looks like this can you die of a broken heart by dr nikki stamp um a heart surgeon's insight into what makes us tick and it's really really it's a good read so far so i just thought i'd share it with you um so i'm finally going to get around to editing my vlogs and video or i have one main channel video um and a couple vlogs of an update video and a vlog um so i'm going to try and do that now as much as i can i'm going to try and get some sleep and nap before tom gets back because i'm pretty tired i don't even know what the time is i've got a bloody watch on 25 past five so it's not even that late but it's the sun's set so it seems like it is later than it is but yeah Hey guys, so um, I don't really remember the last thing I vlogged to be honest. Um, I know it's winter and stuff and I know you're probably thinking, Amy, what have you got on? And I know it's like technically cold, but I've been having like super hot flushes. So I've just got like a little um, bralette type thing on. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to end my vlog before I forget. Um, it's not even what is the time it is 11 o'clock tomorrow i've got to head to centrelink and go speak to them because even though they won't help me financially i no longer have a health care card and basically what that means is um i get my prescriptions at a discounted price so i went to go get some pain pain medication earlier and instead of costing me six dollars twenty it costed me thirty nine dollars twenty and for two things i ended up spending 50 something dollars for two prescriptions earlier and i cannot afford that um so if they won't give me any help financially then i at least need them to give me a healthcare card um reinstate it or i don't know reactivate it because i really really can't afford not to have discounted prescriptions especially with the amount of medications that i have um for example i use a medication called avabradine for my heart and um, here I can't get it at a discounted price because I don't meet the criteria that is used for that medication if that makes sense so basically if I was in heart failure that is a medication that's used to treat heart failure and because I'm not in heart failure and we're using it for a different reason I can't get it at a discounted price um, so I normally pay full price for that but I can't afford to pay full price for every single thing if that makes sense so hopefully tomorrow that is the plan to try and go in and sort out some sort of healthcare card in the mean or something that's gonna help me um but yeah basically that is basically what's gonna happen tomorrow um and I also want to try and do my fake tan tomorrow because I'm going to my friend's barbecue on Friday and I am really pale and nasty so 
that's the plan for tomorrow fake tan and sort out my healthcare card um but i hope you guys are okay please give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys tomorrow good night good night